Hello, black America, and people who pay attention to what black folks are doing. My name's W. Kamau Bell. There's good news out there. There's a COVID-19 vaccine, yay! But the bad news is, as black folks, it's hard to trust what's going on. So what do we do? Well, we turn to people we can trust, black folks. But not just your uncle at the cookout. No, 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 actually not him at all. I'm talking about black scientists, black doctors, and black nurses. Okay, first question. The vaccine happened fast, like super fast, like Usain Bolt headed to the bathroom fast. Is that something we should be concerned about? Having an emergency authorization for these medications was critical, but that doesn't mean any steps were cut. Anything where money could be traded off for time, that was happening, like money was no object. They still have all of the rigor that they use for uh, approving any vaccine. So we can feel confident that the science is still there. The messenger RNA technology has been in development for the last 12 years. So even though you hear this thing about warp speed, believe me, that was not warp speed. And I think the data is real. It suggests it's highly effective. About a week or so after your second dose, the people who had gotten the placebo or who didn't get the true vaccine, their rates of coronavirus continued to climb, whereas the people who had gotten the vaccine, it just flattened out. And what about side effects? Uh, soreness from the injection site. I had a little bit of arm soreness. Arm sore? Is that a side effect? My arm's sore right now. The common things, soreness at the injection site, headache, fever, maybe a swollen lymph nodes. The second dose is when there's more common, those systemic side effects. Is this like one of those pharmaceutical commercials where at the end they talk real fast about the side effects and it's like, you're also gonna get hair from your eyeballs and vampirism. <laughs> My sister texted me um, the second day uh, after I got the first vaccine and I remember she was like, are you a zombie yet? And we just laughed like, no, I'm not. So the big answer is no. <laughs> and the reason being is we are not injecting the virus into your body. The vaccine is training your body. It is making those antibodies to fight that disease. So I view it as a, a you know, positive thing. So here's a question from everybody's uncle. And since I'm an uncle, it's a question for me too. Are the drug companies just trying to get rich off this? The drug companies will certainly get rich. Well, drug companies are always trying to get rich, but that's not the point, right? That is really how a lot of our innovation happens. That is why the drug companies will spend millions upon millions in research. Were black and brown people a part of this process, or was it only like white folks, you know, like NASCAR white folks? The trials were intentionally broad and inclusive. Yeah, black and brown folks have been recruited for the clinical trials. We have ensured that each of the four historically black medical schools, that we are all vaccine trial sites. So here's the big question. How much are you charging us for this vaccine? Right now, getting vaccinated is free. Free? Yes, it's free. <laughs> like free, free, free. It will be free. Like not even free 99. We have not charged anyone. Okay, should I be suspicious that you aren't charging us? No, because there are some things that the government invests in that um, for the good of the people. Taxpayers like you and I contributed to development of, um, of these vaccines. What if I'm not worried about getting COVID-19? Like you could say, I never had smallpox. I've never had tetanus. Why do I need the shot? That's why we give vaccines. Vaccines are prevention. I pretty much tell people you're going to be exposed some, some kind of way, right? So you, might, you better be ready to fight. And what about you? Have you? Will you? I got my first dose uh, uh, about three weeks ago. I have not gotten the vaccine yet, but um, rest assured, uh, I'm anxiously waiting. I definitely will be getting vaccinated when my turn comes. I was scared getting it, and then after I got it, I was like, oh, well, I guess it wasn't that bad. <laughs> when the vaccine went in, I felt this intense amount of honor. Like a lot of people, I like to get my medical information from bizarre, dark corners of the internet that haven't been vetted. Is that a good idea? Oh dear. Please do not continue to do that. <laughs> that is definitely not a good idea. <laughs> Unfortunately on the internet, pretty much anyone can post anything. There are no microchips. There's no stealing of your DNA. No, none of that is happening. Thank you doctors. All right, I'll let you get back to work. And thank you for allowing me to ask you these questions. Oh, but before you go, just want to let you know, your parents are super proud of you. It's all they can talk about.